All right. This is a Valentine's Day video. So you guys can go ahead and prepare for what's coming on this invented day. Uh, Valentine to me is a veil. It's a veil in time. Because those who uh, uh, inseminate on 214 generally have a Halloween baby. And this day was designed to do just that so that you would produce children that last week in uh, last few days in October, first few days in November. So keep that in mind. We're also looking at Mercury combust of the sun. Total communication breakdown. But Venus is conjunct Thalem in Aquarius. This is a good thing. Uh, you're also looking at the moon rising with the sun at 1.4% on that crescent, but, and that's early in the morning at 7.33, I mean, it's ever so slight, you can barely see it, so we're kind of talking about a new moon that will happen There's our last shot. So the moon's still in Capricorn. You'll get that conjunction with Mercury, combust, the sun, the moon. All, and that's still in Capricorn here. Even the sun. Everything is going to conjunct here on that line between Capricorn and Aquarius. It doesn't act, the sun doesn't actually move into Aquarius until the 16th at the exact time. Wow. At 1 o'clock in the morning. And you're going to have um, the sun desperately conjunct Mercury there. Real bad communication breakdown here. So be careful what you say on Valentine's Day. Because Mercury is combust of the sun. And as the day progresses, it literally only gets worse. It's going to only get worse. But the heart is in the right place. This is a good thing. So, um, let's see where Mars is at. Okay, Mars in his own sign. And this is an emotional sign. It's a sign of creativity. And it's a sign of sexuality. And it's also on that fixed cross with Aquarius. So um, this is a good time to make love not war. Um, when Mars is in cardinal fire that he rules, it's uh, all about war. It's about fire. But Mars being in a fixed sign, his own sign, and the sign of sensual passion, sexuality, so it's better to take action than words. Uh, words are not going to fly this Valentine's Day. You're going to have to put your heart in it. You're going to have to make love, not war. It's more of what you do instead of what you say. Especially with the moon, Capricorn, and Mercury all being in the sign of Capricorn. The sun, Mercury, the moon, and Capricorn. This is also doing. Um, I call it the can-do sign. Uh, Pisces is I believe. Aquarius is I know. But uh, Capricorn is I do. Capricorn is represented by North America. And even the word Canada alchemically is can-do. Um, we know it's represented of Capricorn because of the earth mounds that the Native Americans built represent Capricorn to where when you go to South America, Aquarius, it's all about astrology. You have the Temple of the Sun, the Temple of the Moon. Uh, the entire zodiac is represented in South America with Peru or Lima, Peru being literally the city of Thalem. 
it will be the New Jerusalem. A lot of Cusco's, uh, you have that KK again, that 1111. Uh, K representing spirit, star, you have the Ku, the Ka. So you're talking about much, much sadder. A lot of the K that we get, the special K, the big red K, the special K, it's always red, the K Mart. Um, this is used prevalently in the logos, the symbols, in advertisement. So you'll understand the big red K. Another big red K is found in the Freemasons tracing board is Beetlejuice because it's a big red star. And it's, oh, it's the top of the sun pillar. So those big red caves. So my advice on this day for Valentine's Day is when you wake up in the morning, don't say much. Let your yeas be yea and your nays be nay. Don't add words where they're not needed and don't tell lies. Speak from your heart. Take action. Make love, not war. The moon, who reveals everybody's personality, is in Capricorn. That's cardinal earth. Also coming into a new beginning. But before it gets to that new beginning, it's the ending. Right? It's the ending. So, um, there's my advice to you. Few words, much action. Uh, Mercury's combust, so you're you're talking about communication breakdown, commerce breakdown. Uh, there's going to be arguments over money. So, give from your heart and let your words be few. Make love, not war. Saturn, still in the mind of that philosopher. Jupiter, Good old Job, still in Libra, the wisdom of the heavens. Uh, the cross, the, actually, this is going to go down while the sun is in Capricorn. So you're looking at the cardinal cross. We've always associated, and this has only happened in the last few years, the 14th did rise. It was the 13th would rise in uh, Aquarius. But now, since we had the great tsunami that happened right around Christmas that just flooded the Indonesian South Pacific, it tilted the earth a little more than one degree. That threw us off by 72 years into the future, which is a good thing to me. Uh, shortening those days. So a lot going on. Let's take a quick look at this in the Arabic. In the Egyptian, this is the giant. There were giants in the earth in those days and after that. You go through the different legends and it lays out the timeline for you. So the sun is going to be conjunct the tail of the goat uh, in a star called Nashira Luck which is good. It's going to be good luck, but poor Mercury combust. Venus still well positioned there, coming into conjunction with Thalem. So definitely let your heart be in it. Definitely make love, not war. Words be few, actions be many. But don't push it. Because that uh, Mars still is in a very emotional place. Um, especially with Venus there on that cross with Mars in fixed air. So this is his, but she's there. And this is a feminine sign, but he's there. But he rules this house too. And Venus loves being an Aquarius. 
she rules heaven and earth signs, so she enjoys being there as well. So there you have it. It's going to go down on the cardinal cross, but the fixed cross is way tied up in it with the male and female aspects of that day. So watch your money and watch your tongue. Whatever you do, do it from your heart and definitely go out of your way to make love, not war. Even if you have to bite the bullet and eat your words, good thing to do because right after this, we move into that new moon on the 16th, the 15th into the 16th. We're going to move into that new moon and it's going to be combust, conjunct Mercury. So, bad timing for anything commerce, anything travel, anything even intellectual. Uh, so I'm going to say this is the next, even this whole week is going to be a great time for letting your heart lead you. When we move into the 16th, uh, 216 is the number of God to the Jews. Uh, 216 and 144 is the complete circle of 360 degrees. Um, I am all embedded in this number. This is my father's birthday, my nephew's birthday. My aunt, women in my family die on this day, and men in my family are born on this day. But 216 is the day we're going to move into Capricorn. I'm out of Capricorn into Aquarius and everybody's going to be there. Uh, this is going to be a big ritualistic day for those who practice Zionism to where 214 is a day that was set up by Catholicism. So keep that in mind and remember when you make love not war here you're going to have a Halloween baby. So you need to make that decision of whether or not you want to do that. Because they will be born right over here between Scorpio and Libra, right on that line of Halloween. And while you have the, in Halloween, you have the sun here, uh, what it actually venerates is the other end of that cross in Orion. Orion rises at this time. So, you can see why Catholicism set that day up and to where it actually venerates Freemasonry. We've been talking about opposition and what's opposite here. So uh, all of this is going to go down and literally Cardinal Earth, when we talk about the 14th, um, Capricorn being the sign of creation. So uh, because it is in Capricorn, um, those who are born, being uh, conceived in this time of the Most High of the Earth, and the opposite of that being Cancer, the Moon, or the Destroyer that we recognize as the Flood. Always keep your oppositions in mind. What rises in the day is opposite of what we see in the night. There are two different legends silver legend and the golden legend, the story of the sun and the moon. The moon rules the opposite house of Cancer, so the moon does not like being in Capricorn. A lot of people, um, the only reason the moon has any value here at, that, at this point is because it's a sign of doing. It's a, it's a sign of manifestation. It's a sign of creation. Otherwise, you would consider the moon actually debilitated here. A lot of the traditions of men and the other astrologies do not agree with what I just said. But based on the alchemy, leaving out the traditions of men, you have to take into consideration uh, the oppositions of houses ruled. This is ruled by Saturn. And the sun and the moon are both there in Saturn's house. So keep that in mind. Uh, Aquarius being opposite the house of the sun and uh, Capricorn being opposite the house of the moon in Cancer. So you have Aquarius, Leo, 
on that fixed cross, which is Saturn, Aquarius, and the sign Leo. You go from knowing or into not knowing or confusion. And then you have creation here with Saturn and Capricorn and on the cardinal cross and then cardinal water ruled by the moon, the great destroyer. And I know a lot of people will argue with me about that, but we're going to stay on the alchemical wheel because it simply just does not lie. It verifies itself. And in big ways, like the Old and the New Testament do, you have to have one to understand the other. I, I like the Nag Hammadi Library. It helps you understand a lot as well. It's what I call the other books that were eliminated, those that weren't allowed. And in it, you have what I call the first revelation of John to where our New Testament holds the second revelation. And you need to know the one to understand the other. We would not know love if we did not know hate. Everything has its opposite in this uh, duality. But we must have both to exist here. Well, we're coming into, and we've been living in the age of flesh since uh, the sun rose in the spring, way back in Sagittarius. But we're moving into a time of the spirit as the sun, the inner Aquarius in the spring equinox. And all of that has to be considered in this. The fact that Saturn took over the 36-year Kabbalistic rule of the planets in 2016, uh, at the beginning of 2017, plays a factor in all of this. Everything that is important is in Saturn's house. These being one house, North and South America. All right. Um, if you got any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'll try to answer them if I can. If I can't, we'll try to find that answer. One last thing I would like to say that what happened when the Catholic Church instituted this St. Valentine's Day of Love they did something really strange. Um, all little boys used to be dressed in red because of Thalem and Aquarius. And all little girls used to be dressed in blue because of the blue waters of Pisces, even though its color is white. Um, and they changed it. They turned the colors to pastel and they started putting the little boys in blue and the little girls in red. They literally flipped everything. And uh, keep in mind that rose as well. Why we send roses on that day. The traditions of men. The traditions of religions. The traditions of our superstitions. Our cultures. The United States is a great place to be. Because you have people come from all over the world. And if you would just take the time when you meet these people to ask them about their traditions and then compare them to those that we have. And when you start comparing them, you'll see the, the common denominator, which is the truth, the foundation, the denominator. Uh, that they both, things they both have in common. And when you do this, you will find that the alchemy is what they have in common. And the rest of it are just layers of colors and metaphors there to literally hide the truth. So, Lusky Valentine's Day, play it the best way you can for those of you who are in relationships. And those of you who are not in relationships but looking for them, I would say um, be careful what you, don't believe what you hear. There you go. Mercury combust at the sun. Don't believe everything you're told, but follow your heart.